Okay, so we are restoring our body today. Um, I have been listening to the Sunrise Yoga playlist by Spotify <laughs> recently, so I'm going to choose to play that. Feel free to play whatever you want, um, but it's just really calming, and I feel like that's kind of what I need today, so hopefully that's what uh, that resonates with you as well. Uh, I shared the link in the playlist. It starts with a, an instrumental called Lake Akani. So let's go ahead and press play in three, two, one. And we're going to need um, a, a book or yoga block and a resistance band today just to move the body, open it up a little bit. And we'll start in child's pose. So find yourself at the end of the mat. Knees go wide. You might want to have a pillow handy as well to put under your knees at any point. And then go ahead and walk your hands forward, bringing your forehead down to the mat. And start to just get into your breath here, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Drawing awareness to any sensations you feel along the back body as you breathe into those lungs and that rib cage. And releasing any tension you may have as you exhale that air out. On your next inhale, go ahead and walk your fingers over to the right, creating space and length on the left side body and breathe into it. Sending your breath to that part of the lungs. Naturally creating space through the breath. And then go ahead and walk your hands over to the other side, creating space on the other side of the body. Bring those hands back to center and take a full breath here. And then on your next inhale, lift up through the body, hinge forward, drop those hips down and lift up through the chest, coming into a full spinal extension. Exhale, push yourself back to child's pose. Keep moving at your own pace. Just trying now to create some extension and length and space in the spine, start moving the blood. Waking up the muscles. Good. Two more here. And inhale, coming up and finding your way to a quadruped position. So bringing your hands under your wrists, underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and just give me a couple of cat cows. So inhaling, pulling that chest through and up, exhaling, rounding through that tail and upper spine. 
Inhale as you send that tail long and away from you. And then exhale as you come through neutral and push away from the mat. Feel free to start moving the body around the knees, maybe, or circling around the wrists as you create the cat and cow shape. Whatever feels good to you. And we're going to meet in a neutral spine. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lift up your right hand. Turn it under, like uh, upside down, so that your fingers are pointing towards you and your palm is facing up. And get a little stretch in that wrist. Rotate your hand now so your fingers are facing the other, your left hand. Okay? It's kind of going across the body. Your palm is still facing up. And then gently release that hand down. Shift your weight into that hand. Lift up your left hand. Flip it over. Fingers face the body. Palm faces up. And then rotate through that hand so that those fingers face the other hand. Good. Go ahead, place that hand back down in quadruped position. Walk your hands out forward just slightly. Curl your toes under. Inhale, lift up those knees off the ground. Exhale, push back into a child's pose. Uh, into a down dog. <laughs> Wind those elbows underneath to be in line with your armpits and your shoulders and start to pedal out the feet. Press into all 10 fingers. Your head should be between your arms, your hips up and back. Good. Nice, long, extended position. Find stillness in the legs. In five, four, three, two, one. Draw both heels down towards the ground. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, hinge forward. Come into a plank position. And then on your exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Good. Bringing your elbows underneath your shoulders, your hands on the mat, your, your forearms flat on the mat, forehead down. Inhale, lift as we come into a baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Draw those hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, pick yourself back up and push up back into our quadruped position. So we find ourselves in our quadruped. You're going to lift your right hand up this time as you inhale. Exhale, weave it underneath the left. And bring your right ear down to the mat. Thread the needle. Breathe into that shoulder girdle. One more breath here. Good. 
Inhale as you come back up, plant that hand down. Exhale as you lift up the left hand and then weave it underneath the right. Bringing your left ear down to the mat. One more full breath here. On your next inhale, come on up, grab your resistance band, and then push yourself back so you're kneeling. You're sitting on your heels. Option here to put a, a pillow underneath your knees, or if kneeling on, if this position that doesn't feel good, option to also put a, a pillow on behind your knees and then sit back down. That's going to lift you up a little bit so that you're not completely down. So if I were to demo with the ball, I'd put the ball here and then come back and sit on it. But pillow works better than the ball, if you want, because we're going to be here for a minute. We're going to do a little bit of shoulder isolation. Okay, you can always come up if you need to as well. You're going to grab wide on your resistance band or scarf, wider than shoulder distance. We're just going to inhale as we bring those arms up to the sky. Exhale. Lower them back down towards your thighs. So inhale, lift. Yes, exhale, lower. Trying at this moment in time to keep that rib cage um, not too flared forward, a little bit knitted in the front, and just really focusing on mobilization in the shoulders. Good. Two more here. Oof. My shoulders are tight this morning. Last one. Good. This time, bring those arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale as you draw those arms back behind you to a point that feels comfortable. Feel free to pull apart that band, which is whatever you need. Inhale up overhead. And then exhale, bring it back again. Yeah. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Two more like this. Draw your awareness to what you're feeling in the back part of the body, in the blades, perhaps even the stretch along the front part of the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring that, that band in front of you. Good, let's do a full rotation. So inhale, lift, exhale, bring that band behind. Inhale, lift, exhale, bring it forward. Oh, this is gonna feel so good when we drop this band. Two more like this. Trying to keep those shoulders down and away from the ears to the point that we can. And back, trying also to lift both arms same speed, same height. Ooh. Here we go. Good. Let's go ahead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, find a spot behind you where you get a nice stretch along the front of the body and just hold. Breathe here. On your next inhale, lift that bend up. Exhale, lower it down in front of you. Drop it down. Roll out the shoulders. Roll out your neck. Yeah, doesn't that feel good? Come on up into high knees now. Take one leg and bring it out in front of you to a 45 degree angle. You're going to bring those arms up overhead. Okay. You're going to inhale as you side bend and come into that front knee. Wind yourself around and then push back until we're lifted. Yeah. Inhale, bring it forward. Oh, now wind it around. Oh, my gosh, this feels good. Two more like this. 
So we're starting to, in this position, also stretch out the hip flexors, which we're going to do in just a minute. Good. Go ahead, bring that band down on your thigh, tuck your tail, and then bend into that front knee, stretching out that hip flexor. Exhale, come back. Drop that leg down. Other leg comes out to about a 45 degree angle. Grab into that band. Arms come up. We're going to inhale, bend forward, and then round it around and come on up. Yeah. Oh, if you find a spot where you're like, this feels good, I need to stay here for a minute, take it. Good. Last one. Go ahead, place that band down. Square yourself forward. Tuck your tail and bend into that knee. Get a nice stretch here in the front of the hip flexor of the bent leg. I guess they're both bent, the knee that's on the ground. Go ahead and push back on that. Draw those knees together. Put the band down. Grab your book. Place it down. And then go ahead and sit on that book. Gently lay yourself all the way down. And then adjust yourself, book or yoga block. Adjust yourself so you feel like the back of your sacrum, which is kind of flat, is like on there. Send your legs long. Send your arms long overhead. Ah, and just breathe here. You might feel a slight opening of the hips in this position with our sacrum elevated and our heels and upper body on the ground. You may feel not much at all, that's okay. Just depends on where you're at today. Inhale, as you lift your right leg up into tabletop now, draw that knee into your chest and see if you feel a little deeper sensation or stretch in the front of the left leg that's extended long on the ground. Go ahead and circle that knee just a little bit around the hip joint, around the hip socket. Tiny little circles in one direction. And then go ahead and reverse tiny little circles in the other. Bring that knee slightly open to the side, your right elbow coming down to the ground to help support it. Slight opener here. Feel it a little bit more on the left side. Breathe. And then go ahead, draw that leg up through center. Send those toes to the sky, point and flex. Bend into that right knee and then extend that leg long. Mm, does it feel a little bit longer than the left? Maybe. Draw your left knee into your chest now. Hug it close and feel a nice stretch in the front of that right leg. Breathe here. Start to circle that knee in small little circles in one direction. And then in another direction.
Hang on to that left shin with your left hand. Draw that leg open to the side. Maybe prop your left elbow up on the ground to get a little bit of an opener here. Right hip point is still trying to face towards the ceiling. On your next inhale, draw that leg up to your center, send those toes to the sky, and point and flex through that foot. Really think about articulating ball, arch, heel, heel, arch, toes. Good. Beautiful, guys. Draw that knee into your chest, and then extend that leg long. Bring your arms out to a W. And just breathe here for a minute. Good. Start to bend into those knees. Plant your feet on the ground. Give yourself a little lift in the booty. Move that book out of the way for yoga block. And then gently lower yourself all the way down to the mat, noticing how different it feels now that we're fully grounded on the mat. Extend those legs long one more time, elbows into a W. And just draw awareness to the difference that, that you're feeling right now. Go ahead, grab that yoga block, come up onto your forearms, put that block underneath your shoulder girdle, and then lay back down so that the top of the book or block is basically like right underneath the, like right on the blade so that you get a nice chest opener. It's like kind of right underneath, uh, right on the back of the rib cage. Elbows come back into a W. And breathe. Back of the head is down on the mat, legs are down on the mat, sacrum's on the mat, but our rib cage is lifted, creating space in the front of the body. On your next inhale, extend your arms overhead, trying to keep to the extent possible, those arms on the ground. Feel a stretch in the front of those arms and across that chest. Exhale as you draw those elbows back to a W or goal post arms. So inhale, extend them long. And exhale, draw them back. Keep going. Two more. Inhale, draw them longer wherever you want them to be. Exhale, just rest them where it feels the best for you right now. So maybe that's back in the goalpost arms. Maybe that's just slightly bent, slightly extended. Maybe that's in full extension. Whatever feels the best for you where you need where you feel like you need to create space and release any tension. Find that spot and just breathe into it.
On your next inhale, gently bring your hands to your chest, bend into those knees, and roll yourself to the side off of that book. Go ahead and move that book out of the way. And then gently roll yourself back onto your back. Oh, yeah. Extending your legs back long, extending your arms long overhead. And notice the difference here. Bring your arms out to a T. Draw your right leg into tabletop. Inhale. Exhale as you draw that leg across the left side body and look out over the right shoulder. Inhale as you draw that leg back up through center. Extend it long on the ground. Exhale as you draw your left leg into tabletop and cross it over the right side body, looking out over your left shoulder. On your next inhale, bring that leg back up through center. Plant that foot down, knees pointed towards the sky. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, flex that foot, and then cross it across the left thigh and hug your left thigh into your chest. Stretch out that glute. Go ahead and gently plant that foot back down, uncross your legs, plant your right foot down on the ground, lift up your left leg, flex to that foot and cross it across the right thigh, hugging your right thigh into your chest. And breathe. Good, plant that foot back down, uncross those legs, lift up both legs to the sky now, bend into those knees and see if you can grab somewhere onto your foot, whether that's hooking your fingers around your big toe, grabbing from the inside of the arch, the outside of the foot, anywhere that's available to you, okay? And then pressing your low back into the ground, just slowly rock back and forth. Coming into a happy baby pose here. So you might feel a little stretch along the inner thighs, giving yourself a little bit of a low back massage. Or you can hold fine stillness. And just take the stretch. Carefully bring the soles of your feet together. Knees stay wide. Drop the soles of your feet towards the ground and come into a butterfly pose here.
gently place those hands on the outsides of both knees, helps to bring those knees up to a, a, towards the sky. Arms come up overhead one more time, legs go long. Inhale as your arms start to reach up off of the ground. Exhale as we roll ourselves up. And come into a forward fold. Hang in this forward fold, breathing into the back body. On your next inhale, come up to a nice tall spine. Bring your hands behind you. Open up through that chest. And then relax down. Take a neck circle in one direction. And a neck circle in another direction. And we're all set, guys. 